Welcome to Giants Tire, everybody. Uh, I'm at a place where we used to do a lot of fishing when I was growing up. Uh, did, you know, uh, we did fishing. It's time to come out here and ride around the belt, swim a little bit. Because this is uh, the, the park. It's where a lot of our our things go on, like... You know, our public gatherings, family reunions, birthday parties, wedding celebrations, all that type of stuff, you know. And uh, when you came to the park, it was never like this. What is this, guys? Look at this. I thought, wait for a minute, it's algae, moss, maybe something like that. But this is some sort of liquid. I don't think I would fish here anymore. I would not feel safe to fish here anymore. What's this right here, guys? We're just missing gators, aren't we? It's a little bit of the bog. Yeah. I was definitely missing just the gators, like you say. Look at that. I know. Wait, it's disgusting. Look at that stuff, like, it's floating on the top there. Oh. That's gross. Hey, see algae. this stuff's just floating on the top? No, it's not algae. I don't see no, you know what? It's floating on the water like it's some kind of chemical. You know what I'm saying? Or, or a reaction from a chemical that they had already put in the water. You know, an ad fest, you know, effect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that was algae. But after they put a certain chemical in the water, you know, just our drinking water, of course, you know what I mean? Because this is one of our our little lakes, you know. It runs into everything. Literally, it probably runs into our lake here in town. I'm sure it does because of that. Look at that little dam that's over there, you know. Yeah, it ran through the water. You can just see it's not algae. Yeah. The chemicals they're putting in our drinking water and our tap our tap water and our bath water you know uh if you think about it guys when you take a bath or you take a shower which i do every day i'm a clean person you know i can't not take a shower but you know it, that water soaks into your pores you know as well you know especially a hot bath you know you're opening your pores up you know and this all this toxins and poisons are coming into your skin you know that's going into your body you know that's affecting your nervous system your brain all these things you know that they're trying to slow us down on you know uh, i'm guilty of it of course because i like to have a clean body but uh yeah uh what really gets me guys is just this this place was beautiful i've never seen anything like that we're going to go over here and check out this end, and we're going to see what it's got. Because it's a little cove, and usually whenever you have, like, chemicals or something, you know, it, 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 you know, a lot of it travels back into the little cove and catches, you know. So, but if you think if it's in them little coves, you know, there's waves coming off. Is that little cove so what's that telling you it's just carrying whatever it is in there you know everywhere spreading it out spreading the love chemicals maybe causing cancer you know and certain types of illnesses you know are not even you know where we can't realize what it's doing to us but it's a form of brainwash or a frame of uh you know a way to control don't go down there i've seen you fall in the water already and it's a little cold today for you to be doing that sweetheart i love you but i'm not gonna have you doing that um no thank you 
this the color of this water ain't even proper like it's it's ugly looking i remember whenever i was growing up you could see through the water pretty much you ain't seeing through the water no more it's just milky murky nasty shit i mean it it looks like it's full of chemicals looks like an oil spill if you really look at it in a way you know instead of oil, just would you, would you want to jump in that would you feel clean afterwards huh look at our lake i'm just saying would you feel clean after that look at the rock down here you see how it's got the discoloration on the rocks I think they got these rocks from busting down old buildings and stuff, you know, and hiding, hiding the past from us, guys. Open your eyes. Maybe you guys will see, man. This is why they do this type of stuff right here, you know? Literally. Ooh, look at it over here. See, when you get to the shallow parts, look at this. Look at how green this is, Haley. It looks like a antifreeze. <laughs> See it? see that guys like I said you know whenever you get in these little nooks here it catches you know a lot of the chemicals a lot of the different things you know yeah there's moss and stuff back here guys but you know what that's not that maybe that's a, a diverse of a uh, way that our water handles itself with the chemicals and the moss and such you know crazy world guys god bless man uh hope you like my little tour of a place called Walton Park Litchfield Illinois maybe that's the investigation we should properly do try to figure out what's in our water what we're giving our children you know, every day when we hand them that glass, we're poisoning them from a government that, you know, uh, is trying to take control. So, uh, stay safe, everybody. Giant's Tartary. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Peace, love, and respect.